Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be leading you through a 30 minute full body workout using a pair of dumbbells. Today I'm using a set of 10 pound dumbbells, but please use whatever you have access to at home and whatever suits your strength levels. Today's workout will include a warm up and a cool down. Make sure that you have some space around you and a soft surface beneath you. Make sure you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right guys, so we're first gonna start off with a little bit of a warm up. We're gonna start off just by doing some jumping jacks for 30 seconds. All right, right away, we are going into a squat and you're gonna do a big arm circle forward. Down and up. So we're gonna repeat these two exercises once again, starting off with some jumping jacks. All right, so same thing, except this time, your arm's gonna circle backwards instead of forwards. Really feel the stretch in the chest, in the shoulders. That was forward, not backwards, I'm not thinking. <laughs> All right, next up, you're gonna come down into like a natural squat position here. And you're going to reach one arm up, feel that stretch and switch. Both hands down, standing up. Again, down, feel the stretch, look toward the ceiling, switch. Good, stand it up. We're gonna do some cross body step kicks. So you're kicking your bum and then crossing those arms. Nice and strong. All right, we're gonna repeat that again. Starting off with our squat and our reach. Switch. Both hands down and up again. Switch. Both hands down and up. Step it out. Good, feet wide apart, arms are out. We're just here for 30 seconds. You're gonna reach for opposite toes. 
You're gonna feel that stretch in the hamstrings slightly. We're taking a quick 30 second rest. We are going to head into our first set. You're going to need your dumbbells. So each of these exercises are going to be 40 seconds on with a 20 second rest in between. First up, you're going to do a squat holding the dumbbells. As you come up, you're gonna do a hammer curl. So lock those elbows and then control on the way down. Squat it out, sit into those heels and up, nice and simple. into that squat, sit into those heels. Good, taking a 20 second rest, we're gonna head to the ground. Next up, you are going to do a glute bridge with your lower half and a chest press with your upper half. So sitting into those heels, you're pressing those hips to the sky and then lifting those dumbbells up, squeezing the, that chest. Lower, lower the booty. Up, up, down, down. Squeeze those hips, or squeeze those booties and get those hips all the way up to the sky and hold it there as you bring those dumbbells up. Good, standing up. Next up, you're only gonna need one dumbbell for this. My left arm is up and my right leg is going to be my supporting leg. So I'm stepping my left leg back into a lunge, sitting through this right heel and coming back up to center. Here we go. If holding the dumbbell with one hand is too much, you can use both hands like so. Make sure you're sitting into this glute, into this heel. Press through as you stand up. Good, taking a 20 second rest, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, so hold this arm up nice and strong directly out from your shoulder. Don't lock that elbow out at the top. Step back, press through that heel. Don't forget about your core, keep it nice and tight. Try to relax your upper body. Good, we're headed down to the ground. Next up, you're going to be in a plank position. You're gonna hold the dumbbells. You're gonna do a row. 
other side, row. Then you're gonna do a push up. You can come down to your knees or do this on your toes and back up. Squeeze that back. Try to keep the body nice and stable. So that was our first set. We're gonna repeat all that again from the top. So we're repeating set one, and then we're gonna do the same thing with set two. First up is our squat with our hammer curl. Keep that chest lifted as you come down. Don't let it drop. Good, heading to the ground. Getting ready for our glute bridges. Make sure that when you get to the top of your glute bridge, you keep your hips there. You don't let them drop as you bring the dumbbells up. Squeeze that booty and hold it nice and tight. Here we go. Good, standing up. We are doing our reverse lunge, holding the dumbbell overhead. All your weight should be in this supporting leg. Good, taking a rest, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Good. Back down to the ground. Grabbing both 
dumbbells. We're doing our plank with our rows and then into a push up. Really try not to sway the body as you bring the arm up for the row. Try to keep that body parallel to the floor and just think about driving that elbow backward. Taking a little bit of a longer break, 30 second rest. We are moving into set number two. So first up, we are going to do an Arnold press with a squat. So your palms are facing toward you, holding the elbows nice and lifted. You come down into a squat as you come up. Palms face forward. Don't lock those elbows out at the top and then control on the way down. And up. Good. Next up, we're gonna do a deadlift with a back row. So, feet are about shoulder width apart. You're hinging at the hips, sending the booty backward. As you come down, elbows drive back for a row. Hands come down, sit into those heels, and deadlift up. So, down, row, down, up. Send those hips back, sit into those heels, use those glutes. Squeeze that back as you do the row. Good, all right, drop one dumbbell, or if you're using lighter dumbbells, you can use both, totally up to you. We're gonna do a side lunge, and as you come up from your side lunge, you're gonna do an overhead press, and down. Lunge, up, overhead, and down, nice and simple. Don't drop that upper body, keep it nice and lifted. Sit into that heel as you come down. Now you can do this with weight or without weight, totally up to you. We're gonna do some Russian twists. You can do this, you can do these with your feet on the ground, twisting. You can do them with your feet up. If you're not using weight, I would highly recommend that you lift those feet up just to make it a little bit more intense. Really make sure you're twisting. Touching beside the hip every time. So 
Good, stand it up. All right, this is our last exercise in set number two. We're gonna do just some straight bicep curls, but we're gonna do them two ways. So a regular bicep curl, palms facing toward you, then angle them outward a little bit for a Y curl. Down, facing forward, nice and simple. Remember to control on the way down. It's just as important as the way up. Lock those elbows. And make sure to fully extend at the bottom so you're getting the most out of that motion. work. All right, taking a quick 20 second rest, we're going to repeat that all again. So starting off with our Arnold press with a squat. those dumbbells lifted as you bring them in front. Don't let them drop down here, keep them up. Good work. Next up is our deadlift with our back row. So this time I really want you to focus on your back. Drive those elbows backward. Pretend like you have a pencil in between your shoulder blades that you're squeezing together. into those heels, hinge at those hips, send the booty back. Nice work. Next up is our side lunge with our overhead press. So feet nice and wide. Make sure your, your knee is over your toe here. You're sitting into this heel so that you feel it in that glute. Good, down to the ground. Russian twists. Make sure that you are sitting back far enough so that there's already strain on your abs. And then you're twisting, dropping that dumbbell to either side of your hip every time. Keep that chest lifted. Your gaze is upward.
standing up. The last exercise is our bicep curls. Really think about control. This is our last 40 seconds. Control on the way up, control on the way down, and make sure you're fully extending those elbows as you come down. Good work. All right, you can set those dumbbells aside. We're taking a quick 30 second rest and we're going to move into a cool down. So during these cool down exercises, each of them are going to be a minute long. You can do these as fast or as slow as you want. If you feel the stretch and you want to hold it there, all the power to you. Just follow my lead, but go at your own pace. So first up, we're gonna do some forward bends. You're gonna come down in a squat position here, and then you're gonna pop it up, trying, keeping, trying to keep your chest as close as you can to your thighs. You can pedal it out here if that feels good. And then come back down. Try to let the neck go. Alright, next up, coming into a plank, you're going to pop yourself into a cobra position, so let those hips feel nice and heavy, chest is lifted, you can take a few deep breaths here, and then you're just going to push yourself back into a child's pose, feeling that stretch in those arms, reach those fingertips toward the front of the mat. And then from here, just roll through that spine and back into a cobra position. Good. Next up, you're going to step one foot forward. You're going to come into a lunge position. Your back toe is popped and your back leg is straight. And then I'm lifting my one arm up toward the ceiling and twisting. You might feel this stretch a little bit in your glute, in your back, in your hips. And then come down, either hand on opposite side of the foot, through plank, step through other side. Good, and come down to your knees. Last one, we're just going to reach from side to side, taking nice deep breaths. You're gonna reach those fingertips as far as you can to the other wall and really feel that stretch in that side.
And last two. That is it guys, great job. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this 30 minute full body strength video. If you enjoyed this one, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me your feedback in the comments down below. Don't forget if you are looking for structured workout programs designed by me, make sure to check out the MadFit app. You can download your seven day free trial by clicking the link in the description. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me and I'll see you guys very soon, bye.